Hello! And welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we explore families by learning how to schedule the sum of parts. In this image, we can see that this family is a host for a few subfamilies. This method of family construction is called nesting. We also discuss how to create an exploded look called displaced views. Let's start with the displaced views. First, place the family in 3D view. Then, tab to select one of the nested families. Then, click one of the colored arrows on screen to move the element. Check the properties palette for specific lengths. It should be noted that each nested family needs to be shared. To add the path lines, move up to the ribbon and click on Path. Then, point the cursor towards the edges of the displaced family, and the path will be generated. Let's move another element. It is possible to edit the line settings. To do this, go to the Manage tab and then, Find, Object Styles. From there, move to the Annotation tab, then type D for Displacement. Click the category and edit as shown. Now, let's move on to creating the schedule. First, add the shared parameters to the project. These must be the same shared parameters added to the families. Then, create a new schedule and select multi-category and add the shared parameters required. To add parameters, click the green arrow as shown. Here is the complete list of parameters required for the schedule. Note that, not all of these parameters were created by me as shared. Some, such as the room name, count, and model, exist as inbuilt parameters. The schedule has started to take shape, but now needs to be organized. To move parameters up and down the list, click the blue arrows as shown. Next, filter the schedule using model and ID item. These parameters exist in the parent family, here and here. These parameters help to filter the parent or host family from the parts that are nested within. It also helps to title and organize the schedule as such. Next, sort the schedule. Do this by room name and set this as a heading. Then, by model and also set this as a heading. The impact of all this is a more organized schedule with titles to explain what is being scheduled. Then, follow on by ID item. Set grand totals to be on and edit the name to read total parts. Finally, deselect itemize every instance as we want to list the cumulative total of each part instead. Next, we can format the schedule. I want room to be a title so I hide that field as well as host name. Move on down to count. We need total counts so I switch this to calculation. And finally, we can hide model as well, because that was a filtering tool. Click OK, and there we have it, a schedule with a total number of parts listed. We have a title, which is the host family. Once we move this family into a room, that appears as a title also. The final part of scheduling is the appearance. As you can see, this schedule has a thick outline. For outline, set this to thick.
Furthermore, change the font type and color. First, you will need to clear the cell. And shading can be added here.